Yo guys, I finally have a boat after uh, 12 years uh, fishing on the belly boat or for tube. I've been dreaming uh, of having a boat for uh, more than two decades. I started fishing when I was uh, seven. And uh, at the age of 18, I got my first belly boat as a birthday gift. And I have since been using uh, two different belly boats. Uh, I fished giant snakehead for almost four years in Thailand. And you have seen in my videos that uh, most of the videos are uh, on my belly boat, have been shot on my belly boat. So in February, I came across uh, a second-hand boat on Facebook. It was pretty cheap, so I gave it a shot. I bought it, but at that time, I didn't have a, a car or a trailer or anything. I had uh, to buy a, a car, um, a trailer, motor guide, all the stuff. But as a newbie, uh, I didn't know anything about, uh, you know, equipping a, a boat, so I have to to rely on other people uh, before buying stuff, which I highly recommend you to do if you have to, to buy your first boat like me. The only things I had to do was uh, to create a, a case, an opening in the floor to store my battery, uh, which was a bit challenging at first, but uh, my girlfriend's brother came uh, for holiday and helped me out. So here's the case for the battery that uh, we made. So it's supported by a steel frame, so the battery uh, don't move. All the cables are uh, hidden uh, beside the floor. So just put it like that and close it. So that's the only things I have made. Uh, I have ordered a seat uh, last week. So it's uh, rotating uh, a seat. And I have uh, the foot pedal uh, control for my motor guide. So the motor guide I bought in new. That's a Ashwing uh, Cayman. I don't know if you have that uh, motor guide installed in your uh, boat, but uh, if you have, please uh, let me know what you think about it. And it, I heard that it's uh, pretty durable, so um, that's why I got it. I have also installed uh, a switch here for the pump uh, because you know it's difficult to have access uh, under the floor. So I have an electric pump that uh, you know if it's raining too hard or if the boat uh, stay outside and. Uh, it gets uh, full of water, so I have an electric pump to take the water out, so you know I don't have to do it myself, which is pretty convenient. So the boat is a 13 feet stainless aluminum stainless boat, 3.9 meters uh, long and 1.6 meter uh, wide. So it's a pretty big boat actually. Yeah. The boat itself is not that heavy, it's uh, around 100 kilograms. So the trailer I got it last week. Uh, I bought it new as well from a boat maker uh, in, in Thailand. The same boat maker that sold the boat. The only things that is missing on the boat is the outboard. So um, I'm not sure what uh, horsepower uh, I should get. Uh, I'm mainly fishing reservoir, but the reservoir I am fishing are not really big. And I don't want to spend too much money on the outboard. I was thinking on the 10 horsepower to 15 horsepower outboard. But I would like you to, to tell me what you think, uh, if you think that will be enough. Uh, as I say, the boat is uh, 30 feet long, uh, 3.9 meters, and uh, weight around uh, 200 kilogram with all the, the battery and motor guide uh, on it. So. Do you think a 9.9 uh, horsepower should be enough or should I go uh, towards a 15 horsepower? So uh, please leave me know in the comment section. I'd like also to talk about the car because uh, it's one of the main components you should think about when you buy uh, a boat. So what is very important uh, in Thailand is to have a four-wheel drive. I think it's pretty much just the, the case uh, in every country. Uh, I didn't have a, a big budget for the car, so that's why I got Toyota uh, RAV4. That's the first uh, version. Do you know there are lots of uh, Toyota RAV4 version. This one is the first version. Uh, it's a full-time uh, four-wheel drive. 
Uh, it's a two liter uh, engine. I bought this car uh, around uh, three thousand uh, dollars. It's a second hand. It has uh, almost two hundred thousand kilometers on it. Okay, guys, let's go fishing. Let's get up here too. Look. No. Mm -hmm. Probably. So yeah, it's quite neat. First guest. Small one, about a kilo, kilo and a half. Cut with the tail up, side casting. They are all the same size, huh? small one, but uh, it's fun to catch. This one, I'm not sure we will release it. This one, I think we'll keep it because uh, it has been damaged. Okay, you see? You see, they are all getting a three, four, or five. You see? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, almost lost. Show him. Some kilos, okay. You hear? Okay, I don't hear. Catch me. Okay. Big my? No, not big. Oh, I have. Baby, no, my love. Kilo mm. quoi? The net, my love. Malus. Small snaker, about a kilo, kilo 200 gram, caught with the tail out from going crazy. Side casting. That color, it's like a natural blue color. So, yeah, you can check it out. Okay, Mike? Hi. You can see the... They are all the same size now. Load already. Yeah. Yes. Can I? No, yes. Just say. Uh... 
baby. Yes. Warm. So it's the end of the trip. We caught uh, two snakehead today on side casting using the stick bait tail up. We are going back home. We are starving. We fished uh, three hours, and yeah, see you again. <laughs>